Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace, and with his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. So we gather this holy and good Friday. So we gather and ponder the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ. So we gather and hear those words again, and our hearts are stirred in sorrow. Our hearts are stirred in contrition for our sins, and God willing, your hearts are stirred to repent of your sins. For this is the purpose of Christ's coming. He would bear your sins. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. This was not written to some people long ago, but to all who call upon Christ, who trust in him by faith. This is the promise of Good Friday. Surely he has borne our griefs. He has borne your griefs. He has carried your sorrows. And yet... We esteem him stricken, smitten by God, and afflicted. Why is this? Well, as the Jews did not want to, want to enter into Pilate's courts because they didn't want to be made unclean, so we do not want to often enter into the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ because we behold it and we see our own uncleanness that would drag us down to the depths of hell. There upon the cross, you see the penalty for your sins. And it causes you to shrink back in fear. Where the scripture says, yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God and afflicted. The reality is, he is stricken, smitten, and afflicted because you were supposed to be stricken, smitten, and afflicted. Because of your sins, because of your unrighteousness, you are the one who deserves to be stricken, smitten by God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. You see the love God has for you? He was wounded for your transgressions. You know your sins. You know the sins that you coddle, that you encourage, that you feed, that you pat on the head as though they are a precious little pet. You know your sins, which pull you away from God. You know your sins, which you have idolized. Here this day, these sins will destroy you. Cast them on another. Cast them on him who was wounded for your transgressions. Cast them on him who is crushed for your iniquities. Cast him on him who was stricken, smitten by God, and afflicted. For he alone can bear the burden of your sin. He alone can can free and give you peace and comfort and eternal life. By his death, he has conquered death for you. So, all we like sheep have gone astray, and yet our good shepherd comes after us. He seeks us out in the thickets and the thorns. He seeks us out in the ditches and the ravines. He snatches us right out of the wolf's mouth. For we are precious to 